Hey, welcome to Five to Know. I was on Twitter this weekend and saw a tweet from AP that said, 400 years ago, the first recorded mention of a carousel, or merry-go-round, was seen in the diaries of British traveler Peter Mundy. Hmm, sounds like the perfect excuse for Five to Know, a brief history of the merry-go-round. Let's go. So, just like the tweet mentioned, carousels go way back. The modern carousel emerged from early jousting traditions in Europe and the Middle East, even Asia, where knights would gallop in a circle while tossing balls from and to one another. Now, this whole thing can go way before the 17th century, but we're starting here at the 17th century because the balls were eventually dispensed with, and the riders had to spear small rings that were hanging from poles overhead and rip them off instead. Perfect time to mention, the word carousel comes from the Spanish translation carosteja. But it's not until the 18th century that things start to really take shape. Carousels are being built for many fairs and gatherings in Central Europe and England. These ones had no platforms, though. The animals would hang from chains and fly out from central fugal force. The irony behind it is that they were powered by animals walking in a circle. Now it's the 19th century, and talk about something more recognizable today. The first steam-powered carousel was invented by Thomas Bradshaw in 1861, but it wasn't until Frederick Savage began making his carousels in 1870 and invented the now classical mechanism that makes carousel horses go up and down like they're galloping. It's pretty much all it took because soon after things started to become refined, modern carousels crossed the Atlantic and became very popular in the U.S. until the Great Depression because before the Great Depression, there was money to spend, time to play, time to enjoy. Now let's talk about styles. The U.S. has Gustav Denzel of Germany and Charles W.F. Darr from England to thank for the merry-go-round in the U.S. in the late 19th century. From them came a few different styles. You have the Coney Island style which was elaborate and even had fake gems and jewels. Then there was the Philadelphia style, which was more realistic with painted saddles. Then there was the country fair style with no saddles at all. Now I'm going to leave you with some fun facts before we go. The oldest operating platform carousel in the U.S. is the Flying Horses Carousel in Oak Bluffs, Massachusetts. It was designed and constructed in 1876. And another big one is that carousels over the pond let's say England, move clockwise. So looking outside in, the animals face left, while here in North America and some parts of mainland Europe, carousels typically go counterclockwise where the animals face to the right. There's your five to know a brief history of merry-go-rounds. I'm your host and producer, Nat Cardona. I'll see you tomorrow.